Welcome back. Well, we did see some breezy conditions out there today. Not too bad in the springs, but up in the mountains is really, really windy. Let's take you over to our Bourbon Brothers Southern Kitchens camera now. Another time lapse for you. We've got some really cool time lapses over the past couple of days. As you can see, a relatively beautiful day out there. Just some passing clouds, and then things really started to clear up into the afternoon. Currently, the wind speeds, again, not bad. Now, they are pretty breezy up near Salida and Leadville. We do have a high wind warning for that area currently, or excuse me, a high wind watch. We're looking at that up through 11 p.m. on Monday. Now we're looking at westerly winds about 35 to 50 miles an hour, gusts up to 70 miles an hour. So do keep that in mind if you do have any travel plans. Just to our north and west, up into the mountain ranges, there could get a little breezy up on the ski slopes. As for our next system, well, there is one moving in, but not quite yet. We do have some moisture that's moving in from the North Pacific right now. That is going to track into the region about midweek or so, but let's concentrate on what's headed our way for the next few days, all right? This area of high pressure is going to build in over top of the state over the next few. Now, that is going to kick up the winds a little bit again this evening up through tomorrow. Not so much into the plains. Those winds are primarily going to stay in the high terrain. But as Monday morning starts to roll around, we are looking at absolutely gorgeous conditions. Likely see a few flurries there into the far northwestern corner of the state, but clear skies to follow all across eastern Colorado. We're looking at temperatures tomorrow into the 50s pretty much all across the front range. It's going to be a gorgeous one. That area of high pressure is going to track into the Four Corners region, keeping that nice mild air mass over top of us up through Tuesday. However, once Tuesday evening and afternoon rolls around, that's when that cooler air out of Canada and that North Pacific moisture is going to start entering into the region, likely going to kick off some flurries Tuesday night into Wednesday and a little temperature drop as well, but not crazy bad. As for lows tonight, single digits out into eastern Colorado. Bundle up if you're heading outside. It's going to be a chilly one, seven into the Springs, 12 into Pueblo. Canyon City, kind of the toasty spot there, 20 and a few 20s as we move down the I 25 corridor there. As for highs tomorrow, not a bad day out there. Look at that, into the front range, 50s. Now, normally we would see warmer temperatures out in eastern Colorado, but these 50s are all due to the winds. So, in other words, the winds coming over top of the mountains going to keep things really nice tomorrow for us into the low to mid 50s, 40s out into eastern Colorado, and a few 30s and 40s into the high terrain. All right, the next seven days, here's a big disclosure for you, okay? So, we are looking nice to start the week out. Then, temperatures start to taper off a little bit into Tuesday. Tuesday night is when that system's going to knock at our doorstep. If we do see flurries on Tuesday, they're going to be late Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. Not a lot of accumulation out of this. It's more or less just going to be a dip in the temperatures. Pretty drastic drop into Pueblo. Again, really going to hit hard into eastern Colorado, but check out Thursday's temperatures. Right after that cold front passes, we're looking at sunny skies and warming up to just about 60 degrees. That's Colorado weather at its finest right there. If you don't like it, wait a day. It'll completely change on us. Canyon City again, cooling off to 34 there into Wednesday and then back up to 55 in Thursday. Teller County again, a few flurries moving through on Tuesday evening. Probably lingering into Wednesday morning. That's going to keep those daytime highs. Wednesday a little bit chilly, but by Thursday we're already back up to the 50s and then back down to the 30s once uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday rolls around. So a bit of a roller coaster ride when it comes to temperatures, but at least it's cold, warm, cold, warm. So mm -hmm. I suppose it's a little hard to adjust to that, but it's hard to a bit of a break. Yeah, and it's hard to predict seven days out, but I yeah. know a lot of Bronco fans looking at seven days out for now because we know who we're playing at least. In the yeah, game, right? Finally found out the.